Welcome everybody to this installment of Three Moons Gaming where we build things in Minecraft. Today we will be working on a, another version of a slime farm. It's real small, compact, a 5x5 five five area is all you need to build it. I suggest that if you're building it underground you, you need to keep the light level above 12 but you also need to make sure slimes spawn in the area and you need to make it a 30 by 30 squared off area that the slime ball the slimes can actually um, spawn in but the little 5 by 5 area that we're going to use is way smaller than the version that I put out the other day this one is going to draw them closer to your iron golem and going to give you a better opportunity to collect iron a lot fat I mean slime balls a lot faster so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a flyby real fast and show you what it looks like when I built it it is a real small build oh there it is that's why I'm not seeing it it's small See this little small build, real small, real simple, real easy, and that's what I collected in about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes of it just sitting here running. So I figure you might get a full stack in an hour. So, and made a couple of mistakes, and a couple of these guys got loose, and they're out there killing them before they ever get here, but... When they die off, they come after him because he's the only one standing. So, let's go over here a little way. And I'll build it over here somewhere where there's a bunch more slime. Well, I hear... Yep. The zombies, are, they're spawning inside there, so I gotta... When you go in there to collect your mushrooms, you'll have to kill more zombies. First thing we're going to do is put down our chest, and then we're going to build some air out. One side's going to be a little wider than the other. Can't help that because it's a 5x5 five five area, so... wide five five deep so here's what we're going to do See, once I've got this built like this, I can take this out, that out, and go ahead and send those two around the center one here. And the reason I did that is because the center one's going to get sand. Yeah, I know you're trying to jump into me. That's fine. Three cactus high. Okay. A half block on top of that. And then we're going to put our our fence all the way around there. One corner post on each corner so that you don't have to fight trying to build corner posts everywhere. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Build our iron golem. Let me go back right here. This just prevents him from falling off and going after the slimes by himself. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's version 2 of a slime farm. And yes, this one came out of the book entitled M Minecraft Guide to Farming. It is, it is on page 53. They talk about it there. You can use this same thing as apparently magma cubes um and i've never been to the nether to play with trying to do this but that'll be one of the next things i do is take this build it there see if it actually works um but this right here oh look at there there comes one he sees him he's like i'm coming to get you boy i hate you because i can't stand them Wow, that was pretty quick. He died. Look at that. He gave us two slime balls all over. I usually do two back so you step down and then you can open in. But, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Simple slime farm. So, all you got to do is sit here and look at it and realize it. it simple you can make the collection area bigger if you want to so that if they bounce back a little further and die you still collect um, but of course we know they split into pieces before they actually die and then once they split into pieces then the little ones are the ones that give you the slime balls because they're the ones that actually die and turn into a slime ball so As I say many times, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the video today. As a gentle reminder, please like and subscribe to this video. I'll do little things like this, and I'm going to try to keep them really, 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 really small in size. I don't want to do huge, humongous things, because if I do, it means that I'm not doing what I should be doing, which is providing videos that you can build small items with. Because the smaller the item, the better off it is. And actually, it looks like I did fill that in as six by five, when really and truly it should actually be only five by five. There we go. From above, you can see it's a 5x5, five five, and that's all it needs to be.